Hi, welcome to another episode of Walking the Path. It's been more than a year now that I've been making these short videos where I choose a path to walk and talk, share some thoughts about life. I've filmed in many places around England and many countries abroad and for the foreseeable future it looks like I'll be filming close to home which is where I am today. I'm in Ventnor Old Park, <clears throat> short walk from my mother's house where I'm staying with her. One other person in the park. I've come here in early morning to make sure that I could stay isolated a good distance from, from everyone. Uh, for many years, 25 years, I've been running workshops on personal development and goal mapping. And in particular, I've been fascinated and have taught about the power of the subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind, my subconscious mind is so incredibly powerful. It can do the most amazing things, which are still not fully understood how it does what it does. The one thing that it cannot do is make choices. It cannot really define between what is good for you or bad for you, right or wrong. It uh, is very literal. Um, if you observe a young child and you tell that child, don't touch, what you'll notice is they touch. And it happens in all languages uh, all around the world. But it's because the subconscious mind can't can't understand uh, don't and so we must say with young children what we want if you tell them not to fidget they will fidget so come here be still sit down listen <laughs> we're receiving a lot of messages well-meaning messages at this time to help keep us safe don't touch your face uh, the challenge is the subconscious hears that as touch your face and anyone that's ever tried to break a habit pattern, biting their nails, touching their face, smoking, whatever the habit is, will understand that the more you resist it, the more it persists. As so you must say what you really want. Uh, keep your face on hands-free, just like you would use hands-free in your car with a mobile phone. Tell yourself to be hands-free with your face. I've had a lot of well-meaning nice people uh, tell me that I'm vulnerable. Last year I was taken to hospital and I had blood clots on both my lungs after a long-haul flight and uh, it puts me in a group that is at risk but I will not <laughs> I will not use that term vulnerable for myself and I will not actually uh, allow other people to say it to me. Um, what I am is someone that needs to take extra care. Uh, take extra care. In my seminars, I, I run an exercise where I ask for a volunteer. And I ask them to stand really strong, uh, but then to say out loud with meaning, I'm weak, I'm weak, I'm weak. And guess what happens? Their uh, body becomes very weak. Telling yourself you're vulnerable is, is really not a good idea. Telling yourself to take extra care is a very good idea. I'm running a regular Facebook Live Tuesday evening, seven o'clock, where I'll be sharing these thoughts and top tips and more. And in particular, encouraging people to create a goal map to program their subconscious mind with positive commands and form new habit patterns and engage both their creative and logical mindset that they become innovative and find the solutions to get through these difficult times. Behind me here you can see all the ducks and I don't know if you can see it but here in the middle of the island is a pure white duck. It's not albino, it doesn't have pink eyes, but it's absolutely pure white, it's a blonde duck. And I've been coming here to this pond and observing this duck since it was a small chick. And other people in the park 
because at other times it's busy, uh, would often say to me that it won't survive, it will die because it's vulnerable, it stands out, it's at a disadvantage, it's white, the predators will get it. And yet against all the odds, here it is, uh, making a nest for itself actually. So tell yourself some good things. Tell yourself those things that are going to really help you in this situation. And I hope you'll join me 7pm tomorrow evening, Tuesday, on my Facebook page, which is Goal Mapping and Life Path. And I'll be there every Tuesday sharing thoughts, interviewing people and helping everyone create goal maps with positive commands to their subconscious mind. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.